I think Katrina was really the the catalyst of the, the turning point in terms of programming for the Weather Channel. Because prior to Katrina, I think our main focus was to be the best forecasters in this country. But I think after Katrina, we realized that there was so much more in terms of weather stories that we needed to cover. And that was the turning point of our overall programming and coverage of weather because we started doing pro uh, after stories, if you will, which I've always felt were very important. And um, I think that the aftermath is just as important as, you know, getting the forecast out. I remember so vividly, um, I was here that morning, uh, of course, it was all hands on deck. I mean, everybody was here, almost every producer, every on-camera meteorologist, we were all here because this was something that none of us had ever seen before. We had never seen a hurricane of that magnitude with such an exact forecast that looked as though it was going to maintain its strength and move into the Gulf of Mexico and hit New Orleans of all places, which is already below sea level. And we knew how an atmospheric pressure that low was going to be so devastating. It was literally like watching an accident just as it was about to happen. I mean, we knew it. We were looking at the satellite picture. We were looking at the radar. And we saw this monster of a storm, you know, coming right into the central gulf where the waters were getting warmer, you know, the pressures were lowering uh, rapidly. We just could not believe it. I mean, it was nothing that any of us had ever really seen before. But did you, did, I mean, did you know, too, that the levees wouldn't hold and that kind of, could you see the power that it was See, and have? that's the thing about it, is that we knew that this was a very powerful hurricane. It was the strongest hurricane that we had ever seen like that in this century, and coming to New Orleans as well, okay? That was one thing. But, so we knew that the hurricane itself would be devastating with its winds and all of the tropical moisture and the storm surge and everything. But we couldn't foresee that the levees would break as well. And that, of course, was just the most devastating part of it all. And from, um, from your vantage point sitting there, how were you able to communicate um, what was going on with your audience? Well, we were just constantly trying to say, look folks, we've never seen anything like this before, to try to uh, raise the awareness or heighten the awareness of the severity of what was about to happen. You know, we're trying to, you know, get them to understand the magnitude of this hurricane, you know, and so we just constantly kept saying, this is nothing like we've ever seen before. This could be catastrophic. This is a very deep area of low pressure with all of its tropical moisture. It's coming into an area that just really cannot handle this type of hurricane. I mean, no uh, coastal city could handle a hurricane like Katrina, let alone New Orleans being under sea level. So we just knew that it was going to be very, very, very devastating, but we couldn't even see on top of that the levees break, breaking. You know. Do you think people believed you? Um, unfortunately, I believe they, that they started to believe much more after Katrina. You know what I mean? I mean, because before that, we'd had nothing that devastating, you know? Um, so once Katrina was as devastating as it was, of course, of, of course with the levees breaching and all of that, but I think that after that, the meteorologists were really, you know, taken more seriously. And unfortunately, it took something like that, you know, to happen. Now, once, once the hurricane had passed, were you still, I mean, in, terms of, in terms of all hands on deck, was that still the case? Yeah, that was still the case because it was still, you know, a matter of now the levees have broken and now we're talking about all of this water all over the place. And now, of course, it becomes a number one news story at this point, you know, but we were still trying to bring it back to, well, hey, we saw this coming in terms of the magnitude of the hurricane itself, you know. So um, 
we then just try to make sure that everybody from that point on would trust us in terms of knowing that, hey, we knew that this was going to be a devastating hurricane. You know, didn't know about the, the levees breaking, but we knew that this was a hurricane for the century.